to finally my van tour. Uh, it's only taken two plus months to get here. And we're at my brother's place in Eureka, California. So here is uh, Mr. T, my van. Uh, he is a Chevy Express 2500. And um, he's pretty much uh, standard, except for he's lifted a little bit, bigger tires. I just added this uh, yesterday. There's going to be a skybox going on, so I have an addict because I have a bunch of crap right down here that I really don't even want to show you. That's my mess. Um, in general, uh, it's got the double, I call these the French doors. And sorry, I'm also sick. Um, so here's welcome to my van. And one of the cooler things about the van, and you'll see as we film, is it also has um, these compartments, these utility panels that come out, which is not something I did, it was as is, which is awesome, um, but it is an aftermarket thing. All right, welcome inside. Um, this has gotten redone since I bought the van. It's pretty much the biggest thing uh, that I did as far as converting it from its old uh, self. It did have the floor, it did have the ceiling, it did have the bed, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, but one thing that I knew I wanted is the fact that if, like, if I'm going to use a cooler system, that it can actually roll out because I don't want to kill my back moving a really heavy uh, cooler in and out. So um, it also has a small space for propane and um, whatever else you can fit in there. Um, I have a little heater thermos. Um, this keeps it from sliding out when I take the van on two, two wheels around a corner. This is a nice little bottle opener slash my drawer that's got pretty much like everything you need in the kitchen. Plates, um, stuff to make coffee, knives, scissors, cups, sea salt. Uh, this is just a simple two burner Primus stove and instead of locking it in here we just decided to do a bungee system that way like if I wanted to simply take the whole system out and cook outside I could otherwise here you just lift up the things uh, it's pretty nice because uh, everything fits in here pretty well and we also instead of doing a big elaborate uh, propane holder we just did the same eyelets with bungee system so it's very utilitarian, but makes a lot of sense. This is part of the whole structure, so it's really nice and tight. I got a CO2 um, detector up here and seven gallon uh, water tank, which is awesome. I personally, when it's just me, it takes a long time to go through that. It's got a nice tapper. Right here, we've uh, built a protective case around the converter. This is a 1500 watt converter that surges up to 3000 watts. And that's all basically run off of the secondary battery that's um, ran off of the alternator in the van. So as soon as my primary battery under the hood is charged, this guy gets charged up. And it does a really good job. It basically um, lights the place up and charges all my like little gadgets. Here I just have a mess of um, camping chairs, a camping table. A bag and then like these utility cloths that I can block off the front of the van if I just stop in a store and I don't want someone to look through the windshield. Um, trash can, soft Yeti cooler or Arctic, whatever. Um, and then like the console up there, which has lots of cup holders and it's awesome. It's really basic, but everything's great, works out. And then on this side, um, Basically, I wanted a place to put all my pots and pans without getting in the way. So we kind of basic, we built this box around these pans and pots specifically. And then whatever else kind of fits in here does. Um, this is more or less the liquor cabinet, which is kind of fun. But like stuff like cutting board. And if you can see way up here, we have like spot for canned food. And I also have a USB strip that links around the back and plugs into that same converter. So storage is always really important and if you can get any kind of storage out of any space in your van, you're going to want to. And finally as far as the kitchen part goes, 
Um, I did do this cute little addition for my fruit and vegetable um, basket. And when I want to expand the surface space to either prep stuff or have a person in here to eat dinner or breakfast with me, you just put that out and I don't know where the leg went, but basically there's a leg that goes right here. Oh, there it is. Just to stabilize it so it's not like bouncy, but it makes a really great prep area and dining table. Daddy, a lot of people love to hop in the van and they ask me what the heck this is and they think it's where I take craps. Uh, <laughs> it is not. Um, it's funny because it's, it's amazing how many bathrooms you can find along your way. So that's usually the least of your problems. But this is basically a stool that I use to cook on. It's just the right height in the van. Um, I've just done some tape stuff on the bottom of it so it doesn't scratch. But otherwise, it's my how I wash my dishes. I have a tub and sponge and all that good stuff in here. Um, so in general, it's not as exciting as the bathroom you might think it is. Um, over here on the right-hand side, Sorry, I have nephew and niece playing around in the front yard. Um, this is where I basically keep Rolo stuff, or at least some of his stuff, and my shoes. These are a pair of boots. Um, it's a great little way I thought like things would fall out, but it doesn't. Over here, I have like a hot pad for when I'm putting hot pans somewhere on the floor, and uh, magnet beer uh, koozies, which is awesome. Um, my cleaning system, the vacuum here, and as you can see I have just like all my hats and uh, helmet and whatever all on a daisy chain and carabinard and it's a really pretty great system and as you can see here you have a lot of your necessities like paper towels, toilet paper, right easy handy for um, cooking or hopping out of the van. And then we have um, two-way drawers, and I think this design is super awesome for this van. Um, oh, I'm getting the move that sign. So in order, when I press the brakes for these things not to go flying, we put these simple pins in. There used to be a little latch, but it was kind of a pain in the butt, so we replaced it with this pin system. And then the trick is to make sure you take those pins out before you really settle in and convert the bed, which I'll show you in a few minutes. This side is um, a pantry, so like rice, hot cocoa mix, um, Annie's mac and cheese, spices, canned stuff, everything you need as far as uh, kind of a pantry. And although it might be hard for you to see right behind the passenger um, see, which my brother filmmaker is here. I just have a big bag and that's where like cookies and chips and other things that could get easily crunched and it just hangs in this pretty sweet little design even though it's just a bag. And then this side, although most of my clothes are inside my brother's house right now because I'm hanging out here for a little bit, this is where my other bag, my clothes go. And I use uh, the Eagle Creek packet system, whether I'm guiding or I'm traveling in the van, and it's great because then you know where your shorts are, or I don't know, your dresses, or your sports bras, whatever. So this is also two-way, which we'll show in a little bit. Um, trying to think of anything else up here. I think that's it for up here. All right, so many of you guys know from, if you follow me on Instagram, the star of the show is definitely not me, nor the van. It's this little dude, little Rolo. He uh, is a little camera shy, so I'm surprised he's actually looking at it. Maybe he's so tired. Look at his eyes are dropping. Um, he loves the van, and he's a perfect van life dog because he's about six pounds, and he's like a little poodoo, little mini deer. Um, he also, this is his most loathed part about the van is when he's all cuddling up on the van, on the bed and I need to convert it. So how to make this bed from what you see right now, which is really great, like just for naps or reading a book or having more floor space, but in general, most people are gonna wanna sleep on a full-size bed. And in order to do that, it's all 
plywood. And this comes out to here. We built a little ledge right here so that um, I didn't have to have multiple legs floating around. And then this is the other one, just stabilizing it. And then you just got to give the mattress a nice little yank. See, Rolo doesn't like this part. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry to disturb your nap. And then I'm going to take my little rubber boots off. And you're going to have to see my butt. So this is a four inch, I think it's Lucid is the brand, uh, mattress that basically just folds up and then unfolds. And then I just throw the blankets back, which I have L.L. Bean flannel sheets, a down comforter with duvet, a Pendleton wool blanket. And then if it's really cold, I also have my, um, uh, my what's it called, a quilt sleeping bag that I use for backcountry like camping and backpacking. And we just put that over the top if we need it. And that's Enlightened Equipment, which is made out of Minnesota, and it's a fantastic investment for those looking for gear. Um, and sorry, I have a cold right now too. That's why I sound like I smoke a carton of cigarettes last night. Also, so now you have a full-size bed, which is awesome if you have traveling with two people or you just really like to have your space. Then, on the sides, both sides have uh, basically the same thing going on. These are little cubbies, and there's two flaps to them because you can access the front when it's all like folded up, if the bed is folded up, but you can't if it's fold it up on the back side. I know that gets confusing, but basically I just have a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, and then below this, you might be able to see there's a, a wood plank right here. And that's removable to be able to access the room, the space, all the way down to the wheel well, which is great for items that you don't need right away or right now, but uh, you might want them along the way. Like some of my backcountry gear is there. If I wanted to go camp for a night overnight, backpack in somewhere. So these are really handy and they're on both sides. So my yoga mat and some fitness stuff. The TRX system is over here. Everything's a little hodgepodgey. Probably shouldn't zoom in on that because not very organized. No, don't. Um, and as you can see, it's really nice and bright in here and that's because we have the little utility panels popped open, which is a fantastic thing to have when it's a nice day out. Um, I do have a penny board up here, and then also we I do have um, an external fan. Uh, unfortunately, the prior owners of the van, Brian, if you're watching this, you installed it backwards. Um, it's not very aerodynamic, so you gotta make sure it's shut, but basically you can, you know, have, air come in or you can suck air out which is fantastic as well when you're cooking um, I haven't had super hot nights because I'm traveling in the winter but it is quite nice to have this as an option you know if you cook bacon you don't want to have it smelling like that all day all of the windows have these little curtains that just have a simple tie they drop down so I can black it out and then I have like reflective stuff that I just cut out for the shape of the windshield um, so no one can see out, sorry, no one can see out or see in. And now we'll see what's out the back. Right, last but not least, um, I forget what people refer to the trunk or basement or whatever. Um, a few people probably might know I love bikes, so I made the investment to a 1UP. And this is a Wisconsin company, and it's noisy, but it's the best bike rack system that there is ever. Um, just a little reference, basically it uh, hits both your outer wheels and ratchets tight on them. So I have three bikes. I carry an e-bike, a mountain bike, and a road bike. Um, the e-bike basically helps when I get to somewhere for a little while. I park the van and that's basically my car. Uh, I'll go grocery shopping or Home Depot or whatever. Um, then back here, We'll probably get to see Rolo maybe again. No, he's just not sleeping. <clears throat> so, 
try not to have pillows fall on the ground. So back here, um, I'll start with this side, that's fine. This is the same drawer system as the front, it just goes out the back. And unfortunately, I, I am using my toolbox, so it's in my brother's garage right now because I just uh, worked on doing the roof rack. But stuff like drill bits, extra toiletries, kind of mismatched stuff, you know, water bladder, laundry to detergent, stuff like that, um, all organized. You know, if you can stay, like, organized, that's the name of the game in man living. Um, I have fly rods. My reels are down here. Like I said, you can actually access this bottom lower amount of space and toolbox. And then this side is kind of cool. Like in the summer months, you would use it more. It's a nice platform in order to cook on if you wanted to. But unfortunately, uh, it's winter most places I'm going. So I don't bother with that. If he starts barking like crazy, um, you can kill it. <laughs> but this is basically my cycling stuff. So shoes, kits, and then like spare tubes, CO2 tanks, whatever, all in here. And then again, this is where my other normal clothes go. And that's it. Um, the only addition you guys won't see is the skybox that's coming hopefully in the next couple of days and for sure by next a week from today because I'm going down to return guy training for truck travel and I need it. So thanks for, um, I'm sick by the way, uh, thanks for enjoying my tour and whatever. If you have any questions let me know.